Uh, Bethany, thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it. I'm with the Federalist, though, but thank you. You're not with the Federalist? Nope. Oh, they have on here that you are. Why you give me that information that you're not true? So what, Nick? I'm with Ricochet. Oh, you're with Ricochet. Sorry about that. Uh, no worries. They have uh, the Federalist here. It's a bad morning for my staff. I don't know what's wrong with them. But I do appreciate I know you have a family there. you pretty busy, so thank you so much for coming on. I Is it true that you're never a Trumper? Um, not really. It's not true? Um, I, I don't think so. Oh, good. Another thing that they told me that wasn't true. So you support the, the president? No. You do not support the president? I, I just, I'm just a person. <laughs> some things he does, fine. Some things he does are not fine. Give me an example of just one thing that he's done that's not fine for you. Uh, well, the pull out of Syria. That's uh, a huge one. I was going to ask you, why is, that, why is that not fine? The president made a promise that he's going to bring the, uh, the, the men and women home, and he's keeping his promises. Isn't that a good thing? No, we are leaving our Kurdish allies to die. And in future conflicts, if there's ever an ethnic group that decides that they want to, um, that they might want to support the American cause, they will look to this and see how the, the Kurds were slaughtered because we left them there to die. And they will think otherwise, as well they should. Well, he said that if Turkey does anything, that in his great and unmatched wisdom, considered to be off limits, he would de destroy them. So it's not like he's totally leaving the people helpless. If Turkey g does anything that's wrong, the president would be back in there to help out. Um, I, I don't think that that's necessarily the case, and he doesn't sound particularly um, sane when he says, in my great and unmatched wisdom, that this, these are not... Um, decisions that the executive branch should be making on a whim I, under any administration, and unfortunately it is, which leads to a schizophrenic foreign policy. Um, this president has done more for the country and the world than any other president we have had in the last 50 years. I would think that all Americans would be happy and grateful that he's in office. Why is it that there are people who are still rejecting him? Um... I mean, there's a lot of reasons. Uh, he he's particularly um, stable. I'm sorry. Uh, he's he's not particularly stable. He's more he's stable, more stable than anyone else around him who is complaining. You have a bunch of nutty Democrats and others, never Trumpers and others who are totally insane, and everything the man does, they complain about. To me, that's mental illness. Okay, well, well mental illness is not actually an insult, and it's like a real thing. Um, they're, they're not suffering from a mental illness. They just are very upset about the things that the president does. Sometimes it's justified, sometimes it's not justified. Um, but there is another group of people who can see his actions as troubling uh, and respond accordingly. There are plenty of conservatives who give him accolades when he does things well, but his Twitter presence indicates that um, he's a couple of fries short of a Happy Meal. You know, I, I call him the Great White Hope. Did you know that? No. Yeah, he's the Great White Hope. And thank God for Twitter because his Twitter messages, because if it wasn't for that, we the people would be deceived by the liberal media, the never Trumpers, the uh, Democ uh, Democrats who are totally insane. And the writers, we wouldn't know the real deal. And that's because of his Twitter messages and what he's done. He still has his support of we the people. And because of that, I see four more years for him. Do you see four more years coming? Um, I do. Uh, I think that uh, the, the Democratic candidates that are up against him that are the strongest, uh, the three, Biden is, um, is going to get me too out of orbit. Yeah. Um, he, he, you can't run as a Democrat with his his history with women. Um, unfortunately, that you can as a Republican with Trump's history with women, but it is what it is. Do you believe those women about the president? Do you believe them at all, or uh, do you believe them first of all? 
I mean, it depends on the women. I, I heard him himself talk about women on the Access Hollywood tapes, and I, I think those were disqualifying statements. Um, so why is it wrong? Alone. Why is it wrong for men? Men have always and will always say things about women, and women will do it about men, especially when they're together uh, in groups. Why is it wrong? for the president to say what he said about women. Women are not God. They're just women. They're not special. They're right, not gods. And you, I, I don't brag about physically assaulting men with my girlfriends, and one would hope that men don't brag about um, assaulting women with their It's not assault. Doctors. To say that it you're is. sexually it attracted is. to a woman is That's not, not assault. That's not all he said. That's not all he said. Whatever he said, he said, said it wasn't a— in a way that is not appropriate against their will. But that's, that's not assault, though. You guys yes, take the No, it's not. How is that assault to say to, you're going to gone, grab someone in that manner? Women say their that will? about men. Is it assault when women says it about men? If they, if a woman grabs a man in that manner against their will, if yes, he that says is it, if he, he didn't do it, he said it. Why, why so is, is so that assault when women? Is that a, that's like something to be bragging about. He said that the women were letting him do it. That's not assault. That's he didn't say they were letting him do yes, it. Yes, he did. No, he did it. He said when you're famous, they are, I don't remember the total message, but when you're famous, that women do give consent for that kind of stuff. And it's just the way it is. I don't know why the women are acting so insane that they act like this is like unheard of. It's assault when it's really not assault. This is why men cannot believe women because women will just lie and they'll destroy men. They don't mind destroying men. They are very evil people. Women are evil people. Most, that's, not all, not all, not, not all, not all, but most women are evil. Oh, okay. Are you married? No, I'm not married. Thank that's God. A shock. Why that's is a that? Shock. Why is that? Do you, do you have daughters? Uh, I have a granddaughter. I have a granddaughter, grandson, and a son. Not all um, women, but most women are evil. Look how they do to children. Look how they support abortion. They'll kill the man child in the womb just to hurt the man because they hate men. And that's evil. When you admit to that. I'm pro-life, and that is not why 99% of women do that. Women um, kill men children because they hate the men. Do you, so, like, is this, like, a theme on your show? Like, in the last segment, you talked about how terrible black people were. On this segment, you talked about how terrible women are. Like, do you just, like, cycle through, like— No, I just speak the truth. talk about how terrible they I are speak, as, like, an entire group of people? No, I just speak the truth about things. I'm not into lying and pretending. And these so women— just, like, group, like, entire groups of people. These and, women and are destroying the men's are. children. They are turning them away from their fathers. They are against Donald Trump because he's a real man. He's not afraid. And women can't handle that. I'm pretty sure that's not not all of it. Um, wow. I, I don't even know where to go. Are I don't you, even know what to say. Are you against abortion? Yeah. You're against abortion. Do you yeah. agree with me that women who no, kill children— No, I don't agree children, with anything you've said. Do you agree with me that women who kill children in, their, in the womb are evil? No. Why not? Is it good to kill children in the womb? No, but you you can't just say everyone that disagrees with me is evil. People have reasons, and they might not be good reasons, and I would never support them. But in order to convince women that there is another way and to bring their children into the world, into a world filled with love— it's you not can't, a disagreement. You can't just blanket condemn them and call them evil. They there, are evil. Here. It's not a disagreement. It's good versus evil. And women who are killing children in the womb and call it their body, their choice, or mess with their careers are evil women because they hate men. And they would kill the children. They would turn the kids away from the father just to try to hurt the men. I don't know why you would disagree that killing children in the womb is not an evil act. It's not an act of love. You've said two very different things. First, you've said killing children is an evil act. I'm with you on that. Therefore, every woman that does it is evil. Not with you there. Therefore, all women are evil. Definitely not with you there. And then there was like the sidebar that they're doing it just to hurt men. That is 1,000% not the case. If you look into any polling data about why women make that choice, one that I would never make, 
That is never a reason they give. It's finances, it's health, it's pressure, feeling like they're not prepared. None of those are reasons to kill children. Not all, not all, not all, not all, but most. if you don't want women to do that, don't call them evil. No, it's evil. It's evil for them to kill children. And then you said that they're evil for doing it. You blanket condemned every woman who made that choice as evil. That is not how you convince people to be on your side. Why not? Have you ever read the book, Make like Influencing People? Why not? Why is it that when you tell the truth, you can't convince people to be agree with you? Why is it when you call people evil, they won't agree with you? Why is it when you You're tell an the truth? Why You're is it that person. when You're you tell person. the truth, you, you can't? Are you going to listen to anything I say after that statement? Of course not. Why is it not evil though? I mean, why is it not? Uh, you don't get people to agree with you when you tell the truth. Killing the unborn children is an evil act. It's an evil thing. And the person that's doing it is evil. Okay. You lost me on the second part of that statement. Is that, a, is that, a, is that love to kill children? No. How should you say it then? Women who are killing children in the womb, how should you explain it? That they are making a choice that is wrong and that they will be supported in any way possible by the pro-life community, whether it be crisis pregnancy centers to give them resources. You're laughing, but this is what actually saves babies. You you just want to sit there with your microphone and call people evil, but the actual work of saving babies, you're not actually interested in. This is all just a game for you. Are you taking over the pro-life movement? No, but this is the, these are the statements that the pro the general pro life movement in America makes. This is why that they're women losing. Will be loved and supported. This no, is, this is why abortion has no. They're is at losing all-time because lows. they're this weak. This is why abortion is at all time lows. No, they're because losing because abortion. The pro life movement is weak. On what planet is the abortion movement losing? They, they need, are making strides in the courts. They are making strides in the legislatures, and abortion is at an all time low. Abortion. The pro life movement is doing pretty well. I guarantee you, if men get back into the uh, uh, abortion movement and stop these women— There's plenty of men. Have you ever been to the March for Life in D.C.? And stop these women from doing this, abortion will end in America. So if if men will control their women, then abortion will end. That's basically— If men were to get back in the movement and say no to these women, they can't kill kill the children— I'm sorry? There are men in the pro-life movement. But those are weak. Those are beta males. Those are beta males. Okay. <laughs> Matt, Matt Walsh and Ben Shapiro are beta males. Those are men who are, uh, are not standing up and Seriously, telling women the truth. Matt, Matt Walsh and Ben Shapiro. I don't ben know Shapiro them. I know Ben, Ben, but I don't know Matt Walsh. Matt okay. Walsh. Who is. But let me ask. The, um, the Democrats are talking about impeaching the great white hope. And it's another lie that they're uh, uh, t- trying to use to get him out, really. What do you think about this whole Ukraine thing that the Democrats are whipping and whining about? I, I, I think it's pretty serious allegations. Really? Yeah. What's serious about it? It's a bunch of lying Democrats who hate the president. Giuliani has gone on national television multiple times. The most indicting statements have been from his personal lawyer on national television. And your point is what? That it's not just Democrats whining. Look, if you think about it, in the past three years, the Democrats have been lying and complaining. They haven't done anything but yes. lied about the president. They haven't got nothing done. And they hype up with the support of the liberal media. They Maybe hype they the story that, up. These allegations would be taken with the seriousness. They hype, they, they hype the story up. And they really carry on. And then eventually it dies out, as this will. That doesn't concern you at all? I, I'm able to, to judge the news uh, independent of media reports. And it's unfortunate that the, the media hyped up the Russia collusion story for as long as it did, because now they're not being taken seriously with these stories, which are very legitimate, as evidenced by the, the president's personal lawyer on national television multiple times. The, you, these are statements that, that his camp has made, and they should probably shut Rudy Giuliani up. That's not going to happen. And these oh, snitches, yeah. these snitches are left over Obama people. So it's, this story is going nowhere. It would die down like the rest. You say that you support the president in some things. What do you support him? He's made great judicial picks. 
Um, moving the embassy in Jerusalem was great. P moving, pulling out of the Iran deal was great. Um, his China statements and his North Korea statements have been awful. His foreign policy is a very mixed bag. And, and are you for the wall going up around the, the beautiful wall around the borders to stop the illegal aliens from coming in? I, 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 I don't really care about a wall either way. If it, I, I don't think it's a national priority. Are you for the wall going care. up? I don't really care about the wall. What does that mean? I don't really care. I don't care if it goes up. I don't care if it doesn't go up. I don't think it's a national pressing issue that deserves billions of dollars and, and hours and hours and hours of airtime and debate. People are you have for, borders. Are you for uh, Israel wall going up? Why is that relevant to this conversation? Because I would like to know if you support that wall, why wouldn't you support this wall? I didn't say I didn't support this wall, and I'm not sure why you're bringing up a wall in Israel. Because and why that's because a lot of There's, time, a physical structure is sometimes helpful on a border, and sometimes it's not. America and Israel are two different countries and have two different security concerns. Well, you said you didn't care either way about the wall in America, so I'm wondering if you care about the wall going up in Israel. Not particularly because I'm not Israeli. And why don't you care about it for Americans? Because I, I, it's not necessarily going to stop people coming through, and it doesn't—it's it, not, it's not a border in which terrorists are coming through. That's not true. There are some areas— None of what you're saying is true. None of what you're saying is true. Okay. There are some areas in which a wall would be— beneficial, and there are some areas in which it would be superfluous. And I, I don't think that we can make a blanket statement, we should just build a wall to build a wall. And how do you I feel— that's good policy. How do you feel that illegal aliens are flooding through with no wall? How do you feel about that? I, what, like what, what kind of question is that? I, I don't know. Do you want them just coming into the country? I think they it? should follow the laws. And what, is, what are the laws? What are immigration Is it laws? illegal for these illegal aliens to be just crossing the borders? Yes, that's, right. that's a statement of fact. And so you should be for the wall. But I got to ask this. So as far as this Syria hype that is going on now, you are against the president bringing the troops home. Am I right about that? Correct. Amazing. It seemed to me that you people are against American and it just what crazy do you mean by to you people? Who is you people? The never Trumpers, the— uh, I, just, I told you I was not a the, never Trumper. The Democrats. You, I'm so, also not a Democrat. But you act and sound like one. Yeah. You should probably get out more. Why is that? You've obviously never met uh, Republicans and Democrats and people who think differently. Oh, I met them. Believe me, I met them. And they're some awful people. They don't care about America. And that's quite clear. And yeah. the one thing that this president is doing and has done is that he has uh, um, revealed them, exposed them to the American people, and things would never be the same again. I want to ask, do you support China? No. Are you—there um, th are, there are protests going on right now in China. What do you, what do you no, think— No, they're, they're going on in Hong Kong. They're right, right. What do you think about Those what's happening? What do you think about what's happening there? You're right about that. What's happening? Yeah. How do you feel about what's happening there? I, I think that Hong Kong—the people of Hong Kong are flying American flags because they support freedom and they support liberty and they support everything that America was built on, and we should support their efforts. I agree. I absolutely agree. One thing we agreed on. Is that amazing? Fantastic. Amazing. I um last thing, who are you supporting in this upcoming election? I'm not supporting anyone. Who I'm voting for is another question, but I'm not supporting anyone. Who are you voting for? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Can Probably I get Donald Trump? I'm sorry. I'm not sure. Probably Donald Trump, I'm not sure. I want to encourage you to vote for the Great White Hope. Four more years. Great. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. Wonderful. Thanks. All right. Amazing.